Hello and greetings from Iceland, but as I was getting ready for a voiceover for a new video, I got this phone call from Reykjavik, where I was told that there was a big earthquake there, just now, this afternoon. And perhaps the largest one during this seismic chapter for the last two years, so I decided to keep this update separated from my long video about Grindavík and move on with this, but this isn't a total surprise as you might know. So let's start with the map of the Reykjanes Peninsula, but the largest earthquake measured, uh, well at first they said 4.7, then it was 5.2 for a while, and then downgraded to 4.23. But uh, let's leave that for later, and I will show you drone footage from a location in a moment. And we are not very far from the South Iceland uh, fracture zone and the earthquake town Kveragerði, but I have a recent video from that place I'm linking to. But uh, what makes this uh, location interesting and also a bit worrying is the fact that every 50 years or so we do get an earthquake over magnitude 6 in the so-called uh, sulfur mountains. And uh, that's where mother nature gets uh, stuck with its uh, natural plate movements along the peninsula, or with uh, other words, the most uh, magma volume through time on the whole of the Reykjanes Peninsula. So it's been over 50 years since the last big one, and we can see it clearly on the earthquake maps as the earthquakes line up along the plate boundaries that uh, on this mountain range something is uh, stuck. So my first thought was, uh, are we in for the big one? But for the last two weeks we've been seeing a large number of earthquakes on the peninsula and offshore on the mid-Atlantic ridge. And my latest update about that was only yesterday, indicating a tectonic plate movement. And then this just snapped now. And we also had many earthquakes under this lake, Lake Klevervat, last weekend. And then around Grindavik today. So let's move away from the map and to location with drone footage from last November. And first I'm placing the drone here, overlooking the mountain pass where the earthquakes occurred. But you can see Reykjavik from here. And we are still getting lots of aftershocks there. So things will be shaky for the rest of the day at least. And those mountains are on the plate boundaries. And you can see this old lava field there that stretches all the way through the capital. But uh, this is the intersection from Iceland's highway number one over this mountain called the Hellisheiði, and uh, nearby we have the only central volcano that belongs to the Reykjanes Peninsula. But the earthquakes now are almost directly under the road, and uh, from the other side it looks like this. But there is no sign of uh, an uh, imminent eruption though. The earthquakes are at 5 to 8 kilometers depth, so I used one of the tools I'm linking to to look at all earthquakes in the region in 2021, and this popped up. There were clusters of earthquakes near the shield volcano that created the lava field we are just looking at. And back then, those earthquakes gave me good enough reason to make a video that I'm linking to, and the reason why I shot this footage last year but I'm now almost directly over the place where we have the earthquakes now, overlooking the mountains where we might get the worst case scenario, sulfur mountains. So this earthquake isn't a big event as such, but it might trigger something else. So my next clip is shot from the other end of the mountain range, so we will have a quick peek at the map again, and here we have a lake Klevervat where we had some strange earthquakes under the lake just uh, days ago and I shot this from the lake and we can see Reykjavik and the sulfur mountains that we need to worry about but it's obviously a whole lot of tension on the peninsula now literally from end to end but uh, I'm not making this any longer now we still have uh, very little information from scientists but uh, if I will hear something from them soon I will uh, add uh, information into the video description as the day moves on. And only last week I downloaded uh, all the newspaper articles about the big earthquake up there in those mountains that uh, comes every 50 years or news from Reykjavik from that time. So that video will be online uh, sooner than I planned since uh, this is going on. But uh, first I'm hoping to be able to upload my video about the earthquakes around uh, Grindavik late today or tomorrow. 
and of course more information about uh, this earthquake as we get some more information from our experts. And uh, with that, I'm sending you best regards from the earthquake island, Iceland.